So I'm going to show you how to fix the Fortnite 3005 error. So let's start. Now for the first thing you need to do, just go to the Windows taskbar, right click and then select Task Manager. Now this window will pop up. So you need to go to the search, type in Epic Games. If you do find the launcher is running, make sure you select it, right click, select and task. Now once you do that, now you need to make sure that you have the memory and the CPU usage is below 100%. So make sure to terminate any unused or suspicious app you will find right here. After doing that, just go to this upside arrow in the Windows taskbar, select it. Now if you do have an antivirus like me, which is Avast, right click on it, go to manage shields and then make sure to disable it for a couple of minutes just to test. After that, go to open quarantine. This is the section where you have the antivirus automatically converts or remove some specific files that considers them as a potential threat so if you do have any related file to epic games or fortnite you can check this path right here if you do see epic games or fortnite make sure to select the file after that go to these three dots and select restore and add exception after that go to the search and type in windows select windows security now this will open so make sure to select protection against viruses and threats scroll all the way down you can see this manage settings click it now scroll all the way down once again in the last section you will find the exclusions so select add or delete exclusions after that select add an exclusion select folder go to your drive and then type in p on your keyboard look for program files 86 and then select any folder and then type e in your keyboard and from here you want to select the launcher that you have fortnite on which is epic games just click it and then click on select folder it will directly appear like this now after that you just need to open the epic games launcher go to the library where you have the games on now search for fortnite once you find it you should select the three dots appearing next to the name after that Make sure you have the game already installed, otherwise this manage option wouldn't appear. So you need to select it. This will pop up, so by that you should see this verify files element. Click on verify button in the right, and that way any missing file will be automatically restored. If you do have any corrupted or missing file, you most likely will find it already downloading in the download manager so wait for it to finish after that you can run the game without any issues and that's it if you do have this video is helpful consider like and subscribing and see you on the next one